Entering the way a bad boy is built. 1. Don't ask for permissions. Bad boys are planners. They plan stuff and then convey it to others respectfully. They make an offer that others can't reject and that's exactly what you have to do. But one thing that I don't want you to do by any means is that I don't want you to be disrespectful in your journey to becoming a bad boy. Remember guys, bad boys respect girls more than any other male specimen, and that's what makes them ultra-attractive. 2. Most badass bad boys are the leaders. Bad boys are leaders. They know how to lead and not to mention. They are very well aware of the fact that there has to be somebody who leads the whole team to the right path. Most people are afraid of being judged and that's one of the reasons they don't take a step forward as a leader. They are afraid of making mistakes or maybe they don't want the spotlight to always stay on top of a leader. But you should not be thinking like that. 3. Bad boys are strong emotionally. Bad boys know that life throws shit over every freaking person in this entire world. Some people can't bear those challenges while others leverage the hardships to become a better version of themselves own self, and they are the ones who succeed. Don't cry over things. What's gone is gone. What's currently in your life needs your care and attention. Bad boys are very hard to break because most of them have been through extreme depressing shit in the past which has made them this strong. 4. Bad boys do what they want to do. Don't hesitate in pursuing your passion, because only weak men will hesitate to pursue their dreams. They are afraid of not working hard enough to make their passion for their work. They are afraid of proving others wrong and guys. I don't want to sound like a motivational speaker, but that's what the truth is. There will be problems in your way but again, life puts in filters to separate all the regular dudes out there from the ones who succeed. 5. Bad boys don't compare. You are portraying yourself as a pussy by comparing yourself with all the other boys out there and devaluing yourself to the worst limit by comparing yourself with every other guy out there. Do not disrespect yourself because you are perfect the way you are. Stop comparing yourself with others and let me tell you a healthy alternative. You can start comparing yourself from your own past be and what you're gonna wanna do is that you wanna set goals for the future. But don't stay at just one single goal. You wanna break one and then you need to start your quest to achieve the other one. And your goals could be related to anything healthy like let it be fitness goals, hitting the gym 5 times a week, drinking 12 glasses of water per day, etc. 6. Spend money on yourself. Bad boys spend money on their own self. If you're locked inside your own thoughts, you'll never live a life of passion and purpose. You'd find a means to get out of the examination stage and into the action stage if your inaction was costing you money. Whatever your ambitions are. Find a means to put money towards them on a regular basis. Let's face it guys if you won't spend money on yourself, personal grooming, and all then a day will come when your girl is gonna say to your face that you were much attractive before. What have you done to yourself? 7. Don't say sorry all the time. I just want you to realize your worth because that's definitely something you are forgetting lately in the race of pleasing everybody. Summing it up with a single sentence, you are the most valuable person you will ever meet so take care of yourself and your self-respect saying sorry automatically puts you in a submissive posture. You're implying that you're looking for approval by stating that. While there are times when this is necessary, asking for permission to speak or aid is not one of them. From time to time, we all talk without thinking. Many people use the word sorry as a filler sentence when they don't know what else to say. The truth is that we don't always need to say something. Silence might allow us to reflect and consider the appropriate words to say, or it can just be relaxing. 8. Stop thinking too much. Overthinking is gonna take you nowhere. It's like an endless circle that has no escape. If you will waste your time thinking too much about every freaking thing then when will you take a step? Life is the name of an adventure, and as they say, every adventure has its twists and turns. Enjoy life, fail, learn your lessons, and move on like a badass.